mind, body, spirit, and soul. The root chakra. Now, when I think about being healthy, I think more than just about the food that I'm going to be eating. It's also going to be about the information that I allow to become a part of myself. It's going to be about the entertainment that I partake in and even the people that I allow to be inside of my personal space. Parts of the body that make up this, this zone, it's going to be your seat area down. So as you are, as you're sitting down, all that that's touching your, your chair, that's it. So all of that down. So it's going to be your rectum, it's going to be the vagina, the penis, your legs, all the way down to your feet. It's also going to be the muscles that's going to be inside of that area, the blood that's going to be flowing inside of that area as well. The color, this body zone is, is, is associated with the color red, which is the lowest um, frequency of light on the color scale. So foods that would be most beneficial for this area, which are natural foods high in folate, such as garbanzo beans and avocado. Foods that will help you move your bowel and keep your blood circulation help healthy, like ginger, peppers, cayenne peppers, um, dandelion, plums, strawberries, turnip greens, and sea vegetables such as kelp and hajiki. Vegetables are a great source of natural iodine that our reproductive systems need to be very healthy and that's for both male and females. You also want to do specific exercises for this body zone such as squats, dancing, and even lunges. And remember just because you're working on balancing out your lower, your lower extremities, your root chakra, it's your entire body that reaps the benefit. I tend to stick with each energy zone for at least seven days as sort of a fasting and meditation period. Now, during those seven days or however long you would need, you would also be delving into your subconscious mind to get to the root of all evil, if you will. This is where you'd have to act like a sort of a psychiatrist for yourself and delve into asking those really deep questions of yourself as I put inside of a previous video on um, on forgiveness and I have the link right down inside of the right down inside of the description box Chakra is about balancing out that old stale mundane energy that keeps you down basic basic instinct um, emotions that derive from sex, anger, um, family, and it's also about how you see yourself within that, how you place yourself within that. Be the first seven years of your life as you develop into yourself and as your ego would start to now develop and form. As you saw inside of the movie Black Panther, Eric Killmonger's ego was developed out of his father being murdered and him being left alone to fend for himself and no one, well they didn't show that there was anyone there to help him balance out, to help him get rid of any anger that he would have been holding on. Saying these are all the um, the traumas that would have programmed him or programmed you and that would program us inside of our childhood. And so the killmonger was actually his ego that developed out of all that. So that was that imbalancement that he had, that he showed throughout the movie. Listen out the root chakra, that's the very first step that you want to take when you start going through um, working with the chakras and doing your balancing out because that is the area of the root of all evil 
as he would say. So you want to get all that energy pretty much cleared. Well, you want to get all that energy cleared out because you don't want to take that energy up into working on any of your other areas. You want to be as clear as possible as you start moving up and you start clearing out and balancing the rest of your your energy zones so by the time you get to your heart chakra you don't want to be carrying any bitterness any anger into your heart chakra which is the wounded child which is what he also represented inside of the movie so we want to start at the root get all that taken care of you want to do the exercises you want to do the meditations you want to eat the proper foods you want to be around the the right people you want to keep all the BS the stress just away from you during this time that you are balancing yourself out keep in mind that this trauma that children are put through within the first seven years it typically comes from someone that they trust someone that would be a nurturing figure like a mother father it could be a teacher it could be an auntie it could be um, a sibling it could be cousins so these traumas are things that would stay with you unless you actually had somebody that can help guide you through it help you work it out help your young impressionable mind work all that mess out as you are growing up because those first seven years are very 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 important but now that we are out of those years and we find that yeah yeah I, I got some I got some issues all over here that I need to get worked out and these issues are, are wrecking havoc on my body my penis ain't working the way it's supposed to because I got all this crap up in my head and I need to get this out I can't have sex with my man because whatever that's going on down there needs to be taken care of I feel insecure about myself when I'm having sex with my partner you know what I'm saying so it's all of that you gotta weed through the crap you gotta figure out why the heck do I feel this way about myself what is it who who brought this to me what was that first instance of this feeling you gotta get in there you have to actually ask yourself all these questions and the thing is when you ask yourself these questions don't run away from the answers don't try to hide from it don't try to push it out of your head because maybe it hurts because you might find that it was mom you might find that it was your sister or your brother that did Hell, you might even find that it was your grandparents or your aunts and your uncles don't push it aside you have to actually work through that and remember I, I did a video on this and again it's in the description box in, re in regards to forgiveness because it's about you this whole thing is about you and balancing and bettering yourself and you always want to start at the root chakra then you want to work yourself up and you stay inside of each of these energy centers for as long as you deem that you need to be inside these energy centers so that you can work all that crap out because let's face it whatever age that you are right now you done cared a whole bunch of crap so like Erica Badu said you know bag lady get rid of them bags bag lady you do not want to go into a relationship and be carrying all these bags with you and then start putting it onto your spouse you definitely don't want to be coming home from work dealing with some mess and then putting it on your spouse your children the next person that you mm -mm. so you want to work all that out so that's basically the information on the root chakra and whenever I'm doing my focusing on the root chakra as you see I'm wearing red I'm wearing red I completely embrace that and I try to become that I am that red light I see that red light I actually have a red light 
that I use when I'm doing this. I have different stones, um, grounding stones, like this is my um, tourmaline. This is tourmaline here. This is also my crystal. These are known as grounding stones because there is actually energy that radiates from these. And there is like magnetism that, that comes from the tourmaline. These are like some of the stronger stones that you use for grounding. But that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. But yeah. So you have your foods to eat for this area. You have the various exercises that you want to do for this area. You have, you know, get listen to specific music or just sit in quiet but have your space for when you're doing this because this is your meditation time this is your fasting time this is your time this is all about you and at this point I am about to end this video because I will rattle 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 on and on and on and on and on. I know you don't want, want me to do that. So, I'm going to end this video. And I want to say peace and blessings to you all. Remember, always start with the root chakra. That energy zone. And then you work yourself. You work your way up. Because you want that energy to be positive. As it's flowing up and out.